Bucks came from a couple of guys going to a beach project and just sitting around and thinking about something that was missing, a hole at the university as far as a ministry for men. We just heard about Bucks and we had this vision for Bucks and the whole thing from the beginning was just about getting all the guys together in one group and get us connected uh, under Christ. I came to college looking to find a group of men, a guys that could have fun with and enjoy college but grow spiritually and quite honestly wasn't able to find that uh, until the Lord led me to Bucks. You either go and show your faith on Saturday on the corner or you go and you get wasted on Saturday night and there wasn't really anything that was kind of in the middle. When I heard about what the fraternity was all about, it completely matched up with what I was looking for. I think we had a pretty good idea that we could get maybe about 35 guys together to do it. But to get over 100 guys at TCU, we didn't have that kind of vision. Size-wise, we had no idea. We had no idea what we were doing. We just were, we never thought about even for a minute that it would go to other campuses. We were just trying to figure out which way was up. I knew that there was not just myself that was looking for this as, uh, as, as a place to fit in. So I was hoping for probably 30 to 40 guys. Uh, it was quickly uh, apparent that it was gonna be a lot bigger. It was an opportunity to lead, to make mistakes, to get confronted, to get chiseled, to learn uh, and to grow and, and to learn how to lead my peers closer to the throne of God. A Bible study leader of mine told me, Wendell, you have no idea what you're doing. And at, at the time I didn't admit it, but he was absolutely right. But God obviously had bigger plans. The last rush event we had was at the press box of Kyle Field. And at the end, we pretty much packed out that press box, which was to me, I, I remember walking, vividly walking on campus that night thinking that God was really up to something. So we had no vision for this spreading across the country like it did. It's just, it's been God's vision. Bucks is a lifelong brotherhood of committed Christian men seeking the bonds of brotherhood and unity in Christ through the avenue of a social fraternity on a college campus. A subchurch ministry on a college campus exists to fill a void that the church is not fulfilling but Bucks exists to fill a gap in the Greek system. What Bucks offers guys is something that no other ministry, no other fraternity is offering guys on college campuses. It gives college men an opportunity to be in community of Christian men seeking God. We believe Bucks is the best college experience a Christian man can have. We are charged with creating brotherhood and being a light to the campus through the Greek system. And so in that difference, uh, Bucks was exactly what I was looking for. When I first heard about BYX, I thought, how in the world does a Christian fraternity happen? I actually got a bid to another fraternity. And the day after I got that bid, I went to my first Bucks Rush event. And it kind of turned everything upside down for me. After going through Rush through other fraternities, I realized that Bucks has a group of men that are, that are themselves. They're, they're not afraid of being genuine. I remember walking into open meeting and just seeing the way these guys interacted with each other and immediately gravitated towards this fraternity. I saw the socials they did and the involvement they had in one another's lives, the brotherhood that they had, and I was blown away. At, at just the fraternity that BYX ended up being. You know, other fraternities or other sororities, they can do those social things and you know just be themselves. But what's awesome about Bucks is that we can bring Jesus to the table and have people really realize um, the love that Jesus has towards them. You don't find a social presence on campus that's so intentional about focusing um, their actions towards the Lord, yet at the same time, you know, just enjoying each other's company. And they were manly men and were able to um, you know, fill in roles that I didn't have growing up. You know, I didn't, I didn't always have an opportunity to have my father present. I definitely would have called myself a Christian, but it wasn't until I built relationships with these men in the fraternity that I really understood what that meant. Bucks forces guys to do what's easy to avoid in the church and is seemingly non-existent in the world, which is it forces them to create authentic, Christ-centered community with other men. He was meeting in cell group every week where guys truly cared about my walk with the Lord, where men were holding me accountable, asking me those tough questions, and then walking through confession and repentance with me on a weekly basis. I knew it was a place uh, where I was going to be surrounded by men that would push me to be better and to do better, and while at the same time, uh, push me to grow in my relationship with the Lord. We can sharpen one another 
and really push one another to have a closer relationship with Jesus and really understand our purpose so they can make a true difference. I had to learn to be more vulnerable and being able to be open with guys and share my struggles with them. For the first time in my life, I had brothers who I could be weak with and I knew that they wouldn't use my weaknesses against me. You see from the very first um, event, from the very first meeting to the very last day that you graduate, um, what, it, what it is to be a man. And since the beginning, that's what Bryce has been doing. And those habits that I formed uh, in college that I learned from those older men are still with me today. Those are things that I'm still in pursuit of uh, 15 years later. As I began to grow in my walk with Christ, other folks who, who weren't following Christ at the time began to see the work that He was doing in my life, largely because of this fraternity, and they began to want that same thing. They began to want a relationship with Jesus. As I look back at some of the guys that I was in Bucks with, the vast majority of them are leaders in the workforce. Uh, they're good, faithful husbands, they're faithful fathers, and they're making a difference in the kingdom. Coming into Bucks has totally shifted uh, my mentality about school about college and the college experience. I had never really had a good group of Christian guys in my life. And just to be surrounded by that and to see what they could do and the impact they had on campus was amazing. The majority of the guys who will be in my wedding are Bucks brothers. And even five years removed from college, those are the strongest relationships I have. I know the friendships I've made through Bucks aren't going away because they're built on something that is, is eternal, that's, some, that's bigger than this world. What the vision of Bucks means to me is expansion for a man and, and, and an opportunity to grow. Bucks has been a place uh, for me personally where I really have maximized my potential in college. It's been a place for me to grow. Uh, it's pushed me out of my comfort zone and it, it's turned me into a better man. College is such a time of you getting to know yourself and really being surrounded by men that are as passionate about Jesus as you are. It really spurs me to uh, understand what my calling is. I want Bucks to expand so that other guys across the country get to have the experience that I did of building incredible friends that are going to last a lifetime and a part of a brotherhood that's bigger than just their chapter, but it's national. I can honestly say that every hour I invest of my life into Bucks, when I look back on it, I never feel like it's wasted time. This is just a solid investment of my time in building the kingdom of God uh, around this country. We came from the university church in the basement trying to decide what the colors were and where we are now. It's absolutely amazing just to think that we have over 2,000 guys, almost 30 campuses. It's absolutely a work of the Lord.